Hey everyone, just want to go through uh, a few different ways of installing Google Analytics into a WordPress blog. The first thing I want to do though is get some Google Analytics code to be pasted over there. So what we want to do is set up a Gmail or Google account if you don't already have one. Head over to google.com slash analytics and log into your Google Analytics account. Now my guess is that your dashboard is going to be empty when you log in. Um, what you want to do from there is click on the admin link in the top right corner. And from there, click on New Account, the New Account button that shows up right here. And then we're going to fill in all the fields. Scroll down and type in the website name. The URL for your website. And then you can pick an industry category. So this what this is for is um, Google will show you now or in the future will will provide you with custom reports specific to your industry and then you cho choose the time zone of course and then you can choose an account name so if you have an umbrella of sites like health sites or food sites for example you can create an account and then you can have multiple sites within that one account and you choose whatever sharing settings you want just read through these to see what they're all about and then you get your click on get tracking ID, select your country. It'll like I think it defaults at the country that you chose for your reporting time zone, which makes sense. Click on I accept. And then when you scroll to the top, you'll see that you have a tracking ID for this particular website. And here's the entire script that you could paste into your site. So what we're gonna do first, I'll go through the steps for using the entire script here. Copy. Now, one of the methods is to paste the code right into the theme editor. Now, this isn't exactly recommended because when you update your theme, those changes will be overwritten. Now, but if that's an option you want to go with, I'll show you how to do that. You click on uh, Appearance and then Editor, scroll down and find the header file. And Google recommends pasting the code just after the body tag. Um, a lot of people still do it in the footer, and that's fine, but it'll load quicker and sooner if you put it in the header tag. So, I mean, just below the body tag. So we'll paste that code in there. And see, this header file is actually pulled into every single page on the WordPress site. So this code will now show up just after the body tag of every single page on the site. And just click update file and that's it and everything is installed so another way to do it we'll close that off here another way sometimes your, your theme will have a theme option section and it'll have a spot where you could paste your tracking code in and this one here my theme here from woo themes has that so we'll paste I could paste the tracking code in there click on save all changes and this, in this case, it'll actually put it right in the footer of the, of the pages on the site. Okay, and now lastly, there's I installed it, I installed here a Google Analytics for WordPress plugin by by Yoast. So I'll show you how to get that really quick. You just click on Add New, and then you can search for it. And here it is, this one here. So you click on install. And I'll go ahead and activate that right now. Click on settings. Now you have the option you can authenticate right with Google and then you can drop down a list and pick whichever um, web, like whatever property you wanna work with um, on this website but I'm just gonna enter it in manually. So it's looking for a UA code. And with that, you, you come over here, your UA code shows up right under tracking ID, or you can see it up here under property ID. So we can grab that, put that on the clipboard, and paste that in. And this plugin will give you the option where you want it placed. Um, in this case, we're gonna leave it at the default, the header, and I, select the option to track outbound clicks and downloads a lot of affiliates for example they'll have redirects um, to mask their affiliate links so they might put 
those redirects in a Go folder. So if that's the case, you can, you can put slash Go slash, and that's where all your outbound links will go. So this, this will actually track all your outbound clicks. And as as it's shown here, if you have more than one more than one folder, like if you have a recommends folder, for example, you separate them by a comma, and then you click update update Google Analytics settings, and that's it. Now, this property ID, the code for that, the plugin will put all the code in there, and it'll inject that property ID in there, and it'll put the domain name in there as well. So that's it. That's uh, there's a few different ways to install Google Analytics in your WordPress blog. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.